hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel ankit math magics this youtube channel is all about mathematics electronics and computer science so in this video today we are going to learn a process in how to convert an octal number to a decimal number system so we'll be solving this concept with a suitable example stepwise this is a three-step procedure a very simple procedure um, but before i proceed let me request you to please 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 subscribe to our youtube channel as it gives us the confidence to come up with better videos every time so let's start the solution to this particular problem with a big smile on the face all right so the number that we have be uh, that we have to convert today is let's say we take a number two three seven four now this particular number here is in its octal form so let me write this number enclosed in a bracket with a base 8 and we have to find a decimal equivalent of this number so in the first step what we do is we just write the numbers with a proper spacing so we have 2 3 7 and 4 so in the step number 1 we write the number as 2 3 7 and 4 in the next step we write the digit 8 just below all these digits so we have 8 8 8 and 8 now in the next part of the solution what we do is we focus on the right hand side the rightmost 8 on this side and we raise this to the power 0 subsequently as we move towards left we let's let's say we increase the power by 1 so after 0 we have 1 then we have 2 and then we have 3 here in the step number three which now is the final step we multiply these numbers in pairs as they occur in the same column so here let's say we have 2 and 8 to the power 3 so we multiply 2 and 8 to the power of 3 then we multiply 8 3 and 8 to the power 2 similarly we multiply 7 and 8 raised to the power of 1 and in the last we multiply 4 and 8 raised to the power 0 after this all we have to do is just add these numbers so then in the next line we'll have our answer so this will be 2 multiplied by 512 then we have 3 multiplied by 64 then we have 7 multiplied by 8 and then we have 4 multiplied by 1 so this will generate a number 1024 then we have 3 into 64 which is 192 then we have 7 into 8 which is 56 and then we have 4 into 1 that is 4 so as soon as we add all these numbers we get the final answer as 100 1276 so in the very last statement all we do is just represent the old number which was in the octal format and then equate it with the new number that is 1276 which now is in the decimal format this my friend right here is the final answer to this particular problem i hope that you really like this video and for more videos on mathematics electronics and computer science please subscribe to our youtube channel ankit math magics this channel will help you increase your knowledge in various questions related to mathematics in various concepts of electronics and in various concepts of computer science and all the interesting fact in the in the world thanks for watching bye